I love my school passionately. I loved it then and I love it now. I think what made it special, of course, was the people that I was at school with and the teachers. We had a very remarkable headmistress, V.E. Stack, who was tall with a large bosom, sticky out teeth and a very firm authoritarian manner. She had taught at Holloway Jail and I think she brought some of her expertise in the jail to the school. The children were nearly all children of dons, so massively intelligent parents and I think that's a challenge for most schools. And we felt that we were the cream of the cream. We were um, given every opportunity for extracurricular activities, which were mostly, in my case, um, learning poetry and going to poetry festivals and reciting. So that was kind of the beginning of, of my being a performer, I suppose. Actually, I think one is born a performer. So I would probably be, have been a performer if I had gone to Millen Ford School, which was the school that I actually won entrance to, free entrance at the time of the 11 plus. But my parents wisely and with immense generosity decided that I should remain at the school, at the high school, where I'd been since I was four and a half. It would be impossible to sum up my school in five words. I can just tell you that the teachers were brilliant, the, the children were challenging and inventive and very different from each other. There was a variety there which was exciting. And we were there during the 50s and 60s, which was probably the best time recently in England. I mean, we know we're in a terrible situation now. The world is a grim place. But when I was at school, the world was an exciting place. And school made it more exciting. I was very naughty at school. Um, and very cleverly, the teachers made me a prefect when I reached that age. And I was much more severe on the naughty children than ordinary people would have been who had been behaving properly. I was really naughty. But as Miss Madron, my beloved French teacher, said to me, you were naughty, Miriam, you were not wicked. The high school wasn't just for me until I was 18. It's with me now because the people that I love in my life are my old school friends. Every now and again we have reunions and we rush towards each other, we hug each other, we still send each other birthday emails. The school is with me, it has never left me.